Hello everyone, it's me, Anna, with Mikey Chain. We have a lot of custom dolls that need work, so I'm going to bring you along with me as I work on these dolls. Also, thank you to our $1 army for supporting our channel. So, if you want a shout out like them in every one of our videos, be sure to join our YouTube or our Patreon page. It's only $1 a month, and you get access to exclusive videos, photos, and updates. Please consider joining. But now, let's work on some dolls. First, I'm going to be applying glue to each one of their wig caps. This way, they'll be ready to go when I need to work on them. They're actually dolls from a series that are upcoming or upcoming scenes from current series. I also have these dolls that need work. Madeline's hair, I've first done it with a yarn wig and it's fine, but it just doesn't have the volume I want. And the curls just, the curls just didn't turn out really big and fun and bouncy, you know? I have the same issue with Kitty. Hers has the original hair, but I couldn't get it to stay in curls. I really wanted it to look more like the cartoon. Then I have Briar, who has a similar issue. I want her hair to be full and long. I'd done a yarn wig originally, but it just didn't have the volume I wanted. Since then, I've learned when to use yarn and when to use plastic. This apple is not my original apple, it's just an apple that I'm going to be using for the base of her wig. This is my actual apple, and there's nothing really wrong with her wig, it has great volume, it's just I didn't know how to do the part line at times. Also, for some reason on this wig, her crown wouldn't sit right, so I had to glue it down. Other than that, this wig is totally fine, it just needs a little refinement. Now time for the usual process of taking cloth, securing it with a rubber band, cutting off the excess, and applying several layers of glue, making sure to let it dry in between. For Operetta, I'm painting front half red and the back half black. That way, if anything shows through, it won't be super obvious. Now it's on to the making of Madeline's wig. I use a reference photo, that way I can get about the same placement of her stripes. You just start at the base. You can use hot glue or other glue, but you have to make sure that it dries solidly in between. Then, on the lowest setting, curl the doll hair with a curling iron. Mine is set to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. For some plastic, it's way too hot, so be sure to do a test patch first. Anyway, here's Madeline's results. Do you think it's better, worse, or about the same? Let me know in the comments down below. Now moving along with the same process as before to make Blondie Locke's hair just right. on to one of my favorite Ever After High characters, Justine Dancer. I wanted her hair to be super voluminous, beautiful curls that just delicately graced her face. How do you think it turned out? Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. And with that, we are at the end of this video, so please be sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment. P.S. We are working on another episode of Recluse, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching! Goodbye!